Hi guys, Matt from the Big River. Today I got something fun happening. Well, not so fun. We're saying goodbye to one of our good friends. One of our customers is moving away to the uh, greater DC area. And later I'm gonna see if I can't look up a uh, good shop for you to go to while you're over there. He gave me this jar on his way out of town. He said, take care of it for me. It's an eco jar. Now, my buddy is uh, a middle school student going into high school. And one of his assignments this year was to do an eco jar. He had to have critters alive in here and plants. And by golly, there's still some snails and some plants going on in there. Kind of a fun little project. If anybody's looking to do that, we will show you how to do it because it's kind of a fun thing. Anyway, bye to our friend. Safe travels. And on to the fish. We got a great order this week. Let's see what we have. Uh, first thing out of the bag is a discus. This is a uh, checkerboard, excuse me, uh, pigeon checkerboard discus. Nice bright colors on that guy, almost a full pattern. We got a couple of them. Really nice red on those guys. Let's see if you can I see am. them through the bag. Kind of hard to get a spot on them. Next we have some African cichlids. A lot of African cichlids on this week's order. These are Nimbachromus living stone eyes. Kind of look like they've got uh, camo on. Super cool African cichlid, that one. Here are some common autosinculus. Autos are, uh, of course, great for your planted tank. They eat that brown algae that's so pesky. Uh, next up are rabbit snails. Ooh, they came in kind of small. It's okay, rabbits will get big, up to four inches long. Nice cone-shaped uh, freshwater snail. Bright orange bodies on those guys. Uh, this bag has one lined, or green lined pencil fish. Pencils are always a little hard for me to ID when I first pull them out of the bag because when they're stressed out, they have different blotch patterns than when they do when they're uh, settled into the tank. This is another one of those uh, checkerboard discus. Really beautiful fish this week. Couple of bettas on this week's order. We won't spend a lot of time on it. Regular bales on those guys. Uh, let's see, cory cats. These are panda cories. Restock on those guys. And then we have some pink coolie loaches. Pink coolie loaches are another type of pangle. Lots of different types in the world. We have about six types here. A uh, little baby black ghost knife. I've uh, been selling a ton of these black ghost knife and they are a lot of fun, though they do get pretty big. Remember, 14 inches or so. A mono shrimp, absolutely necessary part of your planted tank. Eats up that slime algae that causes so many headaches. Balance those out for you. Another black ghost knife. Uh, uh, oh, these are farluelas. Uh, Vitata. These are the regular farluelas. I thought I ordered the... The... Uh, Royal Farwells, but apparently I got regulars instead. Must have hit the wrong line. Maybe I got them both, I don't know. Uh, let's see, bronze quarries. Another great, inexpensive quarry. Nice size on these guys and nice and fat. Good choice of everything. Uh, more African cyclists. These are Labicroma species. Lundo zebra. Not particularly familiar with it, but it sounded cool, so I thought I'd try them. Nice, bright zebra stripes on them. We'll see how they color up. That's for that box. Let me see it out of the way and we'll get going with another. Oops, sorry guys. A little bit tight in here today. Uh, big orders just showed up from uh, the Hagen Company on Exoterra and Blue Wolf products. Expecting a bunch of reptile enclosures any day now and all kind of other things. As you know, always lots and lots going on here. More bettas that just get slip right through. Ooh, look at that. Hyphen banded sharks. Absolutely love these guys. Great for the pond. They make nice tank fish until they get huge. It will be a three foot fish. Uh, let's see. These are the red neon rainbows, Illuminatus. Illuminatus rainbows, uh, also will be called Apaskas. Beautiful, beautiful little nano fish. Uh, Romano's Tetras, restock on those, part of the Tetra special, remember, 25% off. Big cost though, gotta subscribe to the channel. I know most of you have, but if you haven't, hit it. We always appreciate it. We're closing in on a thousand subscriptions because everybody loves watching me unbox fish. Speaking of which, this is a dragon popper. 
cool, cool type of freshwater puffer. Um, oh wow, a monster this. This is a red wolf fish, one of the bigger ones we've gotten in. I'm not the biggest of predatory fish, but a super cool fish. That you'll do them in a species tank, even by himself or his food. Uh, an L260, I accidentally ordered a dozen of these. My supplier called me up and said, do you really want a dozen of L260s? All right, now how about two? Two is a lot of L260s, but then again, you know, he who dies with the most plecos wins, right? Uh, Ghost pleco, this is an L141. Kind of a cool dude, an unusual type of pleco. I think I've had those here one other time. Super neat. And here are some cynical bikers, or bicer, or all the paturas, or however you want to call them. Either way you call them, they're cool. They get 12 inches to two feet on those guys. Snake fish, dinosaur, biker eels, lots of things. Here's that other 260. Next up is a Sultan. Oh wow, I love these. The Gray Leprocanthus or Sultan Pleco L264. You can get a look at that. Just what a beautiful fish that is with a gray with the black spots and the white dashes on the fins. Another Polypaturus, this is Tegalusi. Tegalusi Bicher or Biker or however you like to pronounce that. I will not argue with you. Uh, more. Plecos, this is a red fin thresher pleco. I thought it was another one of those uh, ghosts just by the color on it, but uh, that is a little different guy. Kind of a flat body on the threshers. And another leprocanthus, another betta. Here is cardinal tetras. Cardinal tetras are right in the middle of the cardinal or the tetra special. Buy four more, get 25% off of any of your tetras for the hard uh, cost of subscribing to the channel. Royal Blue Dwarf Grommy Males, bright blues, a little bit of red, super nice color variant, you get Dwarf Grommy. Uh, then your Blue Grommies, these are the regular two-spot Blue Grommy. They're pretty fish, but remember big. The gold Grommies last week, same fish, different color, a uh, big fish. Speaking of big fish, it's a vulture catfish. Uh, very, very cool fish. It goes by a few other common names. Nice, big, in the peen family, similar to uh, Pictus Cat, only bigger. Super cool, we'll take a break there. And here we go again. Let's see, we got some treasure here. Big bag, let's see what's in it. First thing out of this box is Pictus Cats. We haven't been able to get these in quite a while. Not sure why they were hard to get, but uh, they're here now. So silver with black spots, Pictus Cats. They're bigger than most people realize, so remember that when you buy one. But cool fish, cool schooling fish actually. Uh, red parrots just sold out of those this last week, so uh, a whole bunch more. Somebody came and cleaned me out. Got a half a dozen of those guys in there. Another big bag, let's see what that is. Oh, Borrelius, Borrelius Ardens. Love these guys, super cool uh, fish from India and Pakistan. Beautiful, they call them a hill trout. Love that fish. Uh, guppies, these are some metallic blue Dumbo guppies. Paid quite a bit for these guys. Looks like they came as pairs. Let's see if that was pair price that I paid for it. It said each on there, but I thought that was expensive. That makes more sense. That'll be a decent, uh, decently priced pair of cool premium guppy. Uh, Labicromus crystal. There's a bar in the middle of it, but it's a clown lab. Super cool. Mabuna type African sickle. I haven't actually had that particular guy before, so happy to offer it. Oh, I love these guys too. Gosh, I love everybody, don't I? Today. These are another type of auto. These are orange autos. Don't see these that often. They're a little on the sensitive side, but very pretty. A little miniature pleco, really. Cool, cool little fish. All right, look at those. Let's get these. Uh, another African cichlid. This is Monocara Lawanda, male large. Nice size on it, good color coming in already. Should have a couple of those in there. Yep, there's another one. Should be three of them all together. Yep, there's another one. There it is. Um, then we have some Emperor Tetras. These are the black version of the Emperor Tetra. Still got about four types over there. Let's see, blues, blacks, regulars, and rainbows. All very cool. I actually got a Convertsi over there that's in the same group. Uh, Tiger Barb, we stock on those guys. Got Regulars like these guys got the greens and albinos to offer for tiger barbs right now. Uh, reticulated hill stream loaches are one of my favorites. Just all my mini, mini favorites. 
reticulated hill streams look like a little uh, stingray disc. Super fun. A little bit cooler water fish. They do not really eat algae. They eat biofilm, which sometimes will knock the algae off too. Super fun, cool, cool fish. Let's see if I can get through these boxes here. Why we're at it. Pond plants. We have uh, water hyacinths there. Big bag of water hyacinths in the ponds. If you haven't been by to see the ponds, we've got them outside now. I'm really happy with how that looks. Here are our feeder comets. Gotta have those. A lot of those have been going out as pond fish as well. Then we've got in some fancy goldfish. These are calico fantails. Nice size on those. If those guys tank okay, they will be quite a find. Also got some ghost shrimp just for stock this week. Got a bunch of those guys staring at us. And last in this box we have snails. This is the big trapdoor snails. Awful popular. Got a big bunch of those guys in as well. One more box if I can dig it out of here. And we'll be through this order and on to other things. Let's see what's in the bottom box. More pond plants. Here it is. Water lettuce. A whole bunch of water lettuce. We'll go again in the outdoor pond all of your pond needs. Here are some crabs. These are fiddler crabs. Looks like a lot of females in this group. Little claws, little claws. Almost all of them are females. That's unusual. You should get most of the males. Got feeder guppies, a whole bunch of them. Remember feeder guppies, all your feeder items. We'll give you a discount on them if you order them in advance by Monday morning. We'll pick them up Wednesday before we cut the bags and you can get a discount on your feeders be even more important because unfortunately feeder costs are going up. We had a 10% increase over the board on our feeder items. Uh, here's some angels. Got some Panoi Blue Angels. I've got those around the list. Somebody's just asking me if we got any angels this week and I said no, I was wrong. These are Panoi Blues, but from this source I always like to quarantine for a day or two. Those came in really clean though. I'm really excited about those. Here are some Chinese algae eaters. These are the gold version. Very cool, good algae, you're just very hard on your fish, so make sure they're in the appropriate place. Uh, flame tetras, one of my favorite tetra types. Okay, how many favorite tetras can I have? A lot, but they're cool, and they're on a tetra special, so why not? Uh, next is more tetras. This is the glow tetras. I've been ordering colors on these because they've been having a hard time sending me a good mix when I just say, give me a mix. So there we go. We got Good colors on those. Those are greens, these are golds. So I think we have all five colors of uh, Glow Tetra right at the moment. Here's something we don't get all that often. These are the bloom body, uh, are they bloom body or just Dalmatian? They don't look bloom body. Maybe they're just Dalmatian mollies. Looks like some of them didn't make the trip. That's part of the reason we don't get them that often. Sometimes they don't ship well. If we have them, once we get cleaned up, they'll be ready for you by the time the video airs. Uh, another bag of Chinese algae. This is a regular Chinese algae eater. Uh, again, these guys do get nine inches, so they'll eat fish. Looks like they'll eat each other. One of them didn't make the trip, got eaten. Um, inexpensive algae eater, but uh, work great in an aggressive tank. And that's it for this week's order, guys. Thanks so much. Alrighty, here's something I missed when I was pulling out bags. A little bag of something really cool. These are pygmy sunfish. Super hard to come by, super cool, and kind of expensive for a tiny little fish. One of those is a big one. If they tank well, that's a real coup on my part. I'm really excited to have some of these pygmy sunfish. And that's that.